One word that I would use to describe myself is bubbly because I am an effervescent person. I bring the sizzle. <laughs> My name is Beatrice Schultz from Namibia and I am an executive mentor. So back home, I wear many hats. I am a Jane of many trades and a master in most. <laughs> so I encapsulate everything under a mentorship banner. So I'm an executive mentor and what I mainly do is I help individuals, organizations and governments to incorporate diversity and inclusion into their goals and their systems at work. So when I speak of diversity and inclusion, I mainly focus on women and the deaf community in Namibia. So it's really wanting to create spaces within organizations where all people are seen, whether um, disabled or whether women or men. So that is what I mainly do. And then I work with a company where I'm a ghostwriter. So I build um, social media branding for CEOs and founders specifically on LinkedIn, and I help them build their thought leadership. And then I host TEDx Talks, so I have the license to host TED Women, so TEDx Women in Namibia. And this year, our theme is Building Bridges, and it ties in with the overall theme for TEDx, TED Women, which is Two Steps Forward. So um, bridging that payment gap in society. And then I work with the UK government under the flag bannership of Trade for Southern Africa. And what I do there is I train and equip women in export trade knowledge. So right now what we're doing is that we are helping the entrepreneurs link markages and actually export their goods. Now, very important, I'm pro-women, but I'm not anti-men. So though most of my initiatives are geared towards supporting the woman, I do support and equip men just as passionately as well. I am a trainer and a consultant, so most of the time I help other companies also incorporate these learnings into their systems. So I love, love, love creating spaces for conversation because I believe that most of the time we fear what we don't know, yeah? And when we fear what we don't know, it can come out as um, racist, it can come out as being angry, it can come out as being aggressive, and that is simply because we just, we don't know. Mm -hmm. So with a background, I'm also a trauma healing facilitator. So everything that I do, I always start from the point of what happened to you? Why do you behave the way you do? And what triggers um, are, are around you that make you behave the way you do. So I actually have a podcast called Akoma Talks, which is heart-to-heart -heart conversations to reveal the heart of matters. So with TEDx, I wanted to again create a platform that encouraged new ideas and shared new thought. And that is how I got involved in TEDx. And I really, really love it. We had our first event last year where it was Breaking the Bias. And in that event, we had the first ever deaf speaker in Namibia. And you could have heard a pin drop when he spoke because it broke so many biases among the people that were there about deaf people. Wow, this program has been mind blowing from day one until today, I learned something new every single day. So my biggest desire in coming for the Mandela Washington Fellowship was learning new things because I know that there are different ways that, for lack of a better word, to skin a cat. Yeah, <laughs> and there are different ways to do things. Um, four plus three is seven, but so is one plus six. And I feel like when you know different ways to execute something, it allows you to help a plethora of people. So coming here, my biggest desire was to learn, was to engage and to find new things to do things. So my favorite takeaways was human design and design thinking. That is something I've always wanted to learn. It's something I'm really passionate about. As I mentioned, I always start with what happened to you. So actually learning the process and having the system to actually go to my community, ask them what it is that they need so that I can build systems that benefit them. Yes. <laughs> I am so pumped out about that. And another thing that I really enjoyed was servant leadership and diversity and inclusion. As you heard, that is what I do already. But again, I learned something new about that. I learned different angles in how to execute and how to go about it and actually implement it better in my community. I am bubbly Beatrice. <laughs> Definitely a bubbly person. But when I arrived, I won't lie, it took me a while to get my bubbles to rise because I need a time to just observe everything 
and to assimilate myself with a new environment. And now I feel like I've arrived. Now Notre Dame feels like home. And I'm actually quite sad that the days are moving so fast and I'll have to go back. <laughs> so back home, I'm quite a reserved person. My day um, involves being in my house. I like to say I'm an executive housewife because I work from home. So my day is being in my house. If I have an event, that's when you see me. And I host events maybe once a month or every weekend, depending on the month. So um, I never do risky things, yeah? I plan in advance to do something. Like I'm the kind of person who needs a year to plan and then pencil it in. So being here has really taught me to come out of my comfort zone. And one of those things was white water rafting. At first I was like, I can't swim. I don't like water. I really, really don't want to do this. But you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it with a happy heart. And we went, wow. I love it. If I could be there this weekend, I would be there. It was the best experience ever. And another one was meeting my mentor. My mentor is the best, okay? I'm not being biased, but I have the best mentor in this fellowship. And again, I had my reservations coming. I've never worked with men one-on-one. Um, -on -one. So when I saw that my mentor was a man, I was like, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> But wow, it has been such a healing experience. It has been such a healing journey working with him and learning from him and he is so wise. He's so experienced and he actually has implemented these things that I've read and he's actually lived it. So hearing from his experiences and learning what worked for him, it was the best, um, how do I say, put together that you could, because I was thinking maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I'm <laughs> supposed to be, but y'all know what you're doing. It was perfect. Yeah.